Hi, thank you for visiting my channel, Merging Timelines. I'm Melanie, and today we're going to do a romance reading for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. We're going to use these decks, the Romance deck by Dorlene Virtue. And for my tarot, we're going to use this deck. I'm going to put these decks in the information box below. And let's get on to our reading. Aries, Leo, Sag, I'm going to tilt the camera just a little bit so you can see my beautiful shirt. And let's see what we can gather. This is going to be for February, the second half of February, 15th through the 28th. In love for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, sun, moon, and rising signs. Okay, thank you for visiting the channel again. I hope that you subscribe, like, and share these videos and continue to support and drop your comments in the information box below. I could not do this channel without the viewers, so I'm very appreciative of all of you. Okay, so fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. Looks like there's someone in our environment that's actually worth waiting for, and you know it. You know that this person is worth waiting for. But something within would like to... is liking or missing this playful energy that you once had so to recapture romance they want you to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine if this is not you this could be the person that you're coming to the video for please take the energy as it pertains to you it's generally for the person who's coming for the reading right but the influence is because we need to stay optimistic again. You could be dealing with an air sign. I just did their video and they had this affecting their environment. But there is a need to stay optimistic because this person, again, in your environment space is worth waiting. But I do see finances and career are affecting the love life right now, right? something financially or maybe someone's more focused on their career and that's what's affecting the way that you are being received right now and maybe someone's having to hold off on something they would like to see come quicker than it actually is coming to them. But I do see in the future that you will be getting to know this person as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you will be connecting in the future, near future, I feel. But in order for this to come together, I see uh, you're having to give the relationship a chance, work on the partnership. I guess that's the reason why you have to stay optimistic. You're going to need to work with someone possibly from your past that you know is worth waiting for. And I think they're possibly more focused on finances and career than they are focused on you right now. And that's the reason why they want you to feel or try to be more optimistic. Okay? All right, Aries Leo Sag, that is the Oracle deck. And let's go ahead and clarify this message with our tarot, right? I'm going to go ahead and pull six cards on top of this. And if I need to get deeper, then we will. But I really want this message to be short and sweet because I know time is valuable these days. So with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify this, Spirit Guides, for my Aries Leo Sag. Aries Leo Sag. Please show us what they need to see from the tarot. Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag. Ooh. There is a reunion that's affecting our environment, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's the three of cups, right? I don't feel like this is third party because it's on top of worth waiting for. So I feel like in your environment, you're ready to celebrate with someone from your past that you're possibly not with right now. But you realize all the love that you have within for this person. Because with the Ace of Cups on top of playfulness, I feel like you are really sure of who or, yes, of who you're connecting with, who you're desiring. Because you're wanting to be playful with this person and recapture romance with this person. 
within, right? Very sure of what's in our cup, what we have to offer. But the reason why you're needing to stay optimistic, I guess <clears throat> this goes back to this person more focused on their finances and career because you're having to stay optimistic with the queen of wands. Now, this is your energy, fire signs. This could very well be you. Uh, if you're the female coming to the video, I feel like this is you. Um, stepping out and empowering yourself with the optimism that you have within your heart. You're embodying this very attractive, very um, creative energy. If you're the male sign, this is the female that you're dealing with who is stepping into their power and really attracting, and they're very, they're seen as very attractive to their to everyone around them, and they're kind of enjoying that attention. Um, let's see, we have finances and career, finances and career, and that is what's affecting the present. Right? Finances and career. I'm going to flip this one over because I don't know when that one flipped. Sorry. Finances and career. Pages of, page of Swords. So someone's investigating. Someone is doing their research. Whether or not they want to invest in something or someone. Right? This is air energy. Again, you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Check out that video if you're dealing with one of those signs. But um, the Page of Swords is just someone who's doing their investigation, right? They like to call this the stalker card, but I wouldn't go so much into the word. I would say they're just trying to investigate or do more, um, put more thought into this connection but they're not being upfront about it. They're kind of just going around, maybe checking your social media. Not because they're stalking you, but because they want to investigate, right? I think that's what we all do when we make a move, when we make a big purchase. We have to, you know, investigate. Nothing wrong with that. People like to put that harsh word on it, stalking. Um, getting to know each other, right? So getting to know each other is clarified with the Five of Wands. So coming up, I feel like, and I do understand why you have to give your relationship a chance. I don't feel like this person is really, um, this person is very optimistic themselves about this connection. Because in the future, you're going to have to talk about this Five of Wands energy. This um, one-upping energy, this... Push pull energy, tit for tat energy, at odds energy that you've been having in your possibly it something that you've had in the past with this person because your advice is to give the relationship a chance. So maybe in the past it didn't work out with this person, and now you're having to take time to communicate some things that may have went wrong. Because this person, if you're dealing with the water sign male for my females, I do have them showing up. They do have a lot of love for you. But this King of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, represents someone who doesn't necessarily wear their emotions on their sleeves. They don't really tell you everything that they feel, but they have a lot of love to give, right? They're very mature. Scorpio energy could be dealing with the Scorpio. But they have a lot of love to give, but they're very mature about the way they express it, when they express it. And the reason why we had the Ten of Wands pop out with the King of Cups, so I just went with it. But I do see the need for the message because give your relationship a chance, right? So females, if you are the attractive woman stepping into your power with the Queen of Wands, you're dealing with this water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who's not very optimistic about this connection and they're probably doing their research on you right they're probably checking to see if you're full of it or if you're really invested this time right if you are the male then I feel like due to the past experience you are being mature about your emotions you're not really expressing it to this person but yet you still have a lot to give okay
Um, that was a, a very short message, but I wanted to make it sweet and to the point to save you time. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please check the information box below. Please subscribe, share, like this, this video if you like the content. And again, thank you so much for being here and have a great day.